This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why do my nano meshes sometimes spread randomly across my model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have two identical spheres here that have nano mesh applied across their surfaces. So occasionally when you're working with nano mesh, you may end up with this effect here. So you want to populate the nano mesh across all the polys on your model, but at some point, the nano mesh just comes out sporadically like this instead of this over here, which is more of what you want. So this is happening because you're reaching the limit of the polygon count that your current nano mesh index can handle on your machine. So over here, I've reached the plateau of that polygonal limit for that index. And so now it's just going to come through and start generating like this rather than generating like this over here. So to solve this, there are a few things you can do. So the first thing we need to do is just find out what's the maximum polygon count your machine can handle per nano mesh index. So I'm just going to navigate over to the tool palette over here, and I'm just going to select the sphere 3D object here. And with this sphere 3D object selected, I'm going to come to the tool palette again and just do make poly mesh. So now I have a poly mesh version of the sphere here. Now I just need to apply a nano mesh across all the faces on this model. So I'm going to select the Z Modeler brush. So I'm going to hit B on my keyboard, isolate by the letter Z, and then I'm going to press M. And now I'm going to have the Z Modeler brush selected. I'm next going to hover over a single polygon on the mesh here, and I'm going to press spacebar. This is going to open up the Z Modeler Poly Action menu. In here, I'm going to locate and select the Insert Nano Mesh action, and then I want to make sure my target is a single poly. So now I'm going to come across one of the polys on my model here, and I'm just going to click and drag. And while I'm dragging this out, I'm going to hold down Shift. And this is going to take the poly group that currently exists on the model, and it's going to apply the nano mesh to all the areas on the model with that same poly group. So you can see as I'm holding Shift and dragging this out, it's filling the entire model with those nano meshes. And if I just rotate this around, you can see it's evenly distributed across the entire surface. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to go to the tool palette here. I'm going to open up the Nano Mesh tab and I'm just going to click Edit Mesh. Now, when you click Edit Mesh, this is going to take the Nano Mesh index you have selected and it's just going to isolate that Nano Mesh. Now, in this mode, you can modify the shape any way you like. And when you get out of Edit Mesh, it's going to be updated across your entire model. So I'm going to click Edit Mesh and I'm just going to divide this model up. So I'm going to hit Control plus D. I'm just going to divide this up a few times. So I'm going to divide it up to around. 1500 points there. And then I'm going to get out of Edit Mesh, and you're going to see now I have that smoothed sphere being applied across all the surfaces of the model. And as you can see here, it's still looking correct. And while you're doing this, anytime you update a nano mesh, if I come over here and change the sizes or anything like this, you're going to see this readout at the top of your screen. And this readout at the top is going to tell you how many instances are being applied with that index and then how many millions of vertices that index consists of. So right now I'm at 12 million vertices, so roughly 12 million polygons. So my machine is currently able to handle at least 12 million polygons. So now I'm going to go back to the Edit Mesh here, and I'm just going to divide again. So I'm going to hit Control D and just divide that up, get out of Edit Mesh. And I'm just going to keep doing this process until I end up getting something like this. So as you can see here, now this model consists of 50 million polygons, and I'm starting to see that nano mesh index break down. So I've reached the cap for a single nano mesh index on my machine. Now you'll notice when you reach this cap, what you can do to alleviate this is let's just start hiding some of the geometry of the sphere here. So I'm just going to hold Control and Shift and just drag out a select rectangle, and then I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm just going to hide part of this model. Now you'll notice when I hid part of that model, you can see that the nano meshes on the part of the model that is visible are now displaying correctly. So by just hiding that portion of the model, I've been able to reduce the millions of polygons that nano mesh index was generating, and I'm now under my machine's cap. So you can see now I'm at 28 million vertices. So if you want to hone this in exactly to see what your limit is, just hide part of your model and just get it back to looking like this. Now you can hit Control plus Shift plus X, and this will start changing your visibility on your mesh and expanding it at one polygonal row at a time. So I can just hit Control Shift X and just keep adding edge loops here from my original sphere. So just changing their visibility. And as I do this, you'll see this millions of polygons count up here goes up. 
So this is going to allow me to see how close my limit is. So you can see I'm at 39 million. It's still looking good. I'm at 40 million, 41, 42, 43. And so you just keep doing this, just expanding the visibility on your model. And then at a certain point here, I'm going to reach that plateau. And there we go. So my machine's maximum nano mesh index is at 50 million vertices. So that is the maximum for my model. So let's say that you still want to use a sphere and you still want to populate this entire model. So how can you go by doing that? So I know that a single index of nano mesh can only handle up to 50 million vertices, which is around 50 million polygons. So what I can do is I can take my mesh and I can apply multiple nano mesh indexes of that same nano mesh, and that's going to allow me to get the result I want. So as long as a single index doesn't breach that 50 million polygons, I'm going to be able to apply multiple indexes on my mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. I'm just going to copy my nano mesh here. And then I'm going to do that visibility option again. So I'm going to hold Control and Shift. And I'm just going to drag it out across half my sphere here and just release. And then with just part of my model here, I'm going to press Control plus W. And this is going to assign a new polygroup to the visible part of my mesh. So you can see here the polygroup color has changed. So now if I hold Control and Shift again and release, you're going to see now I have the sphere split into two polygroups. You can see I have one filled with that nano mesh index, and then the other area here with that separate polygroup now has no nano mesh applied. So now I can come through and I can apply this nano mesh again to this new polygroup. So I'm just going to click and drag and then hold Shift to populate that nano mesh across the entire surface there. And as you can see, when I apply this one, it's giving me a new nano mesh index over here. So now this part of the sphere has a separate nano mesh compared to this part here. So now I can paste the settings I had down here onto this new index, like so. And then I go to the Edit Mesh option again for this new index. And I can just divide this up so I can get it up to that 6,000 polygons there. And then get out of Edit Mesh. And now you can see I have two indexes. So I have the top and then I have the bottom. Each one of these is falling below that 50 million limit. And now I have my model being correctly distributed with that nano mesh. So the basic principle is to first find your machine's limit that it can handle for each nano mesh index, then go through your model and divide it into different polygroups then apply the same nano mesh to each of those polygroups, which is going to create a new index per polygroup that's going to allow you to get the results you're looking for, and it's going to stop you from hitting that nano mesh index poly limit for your machine. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.